Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today I have a 100% fix for anything related to lost 3D or direct 3D uh, process for games. I have the solution for you. There's no registry changes. There's nothing. What I want you to do is download MSI afterburner okay the reason why you continuously crash is that the gpu is overheating and crashing so i have found a solution if you underclock your core and your memory actually if you just underclock your core i've actually done both with perfect results so i'm going to drop this down like 34 megahertz on the core and I'm going to drop this down maybe 30 megahertz on the memory this small change is not going to make a difference in your gameplay whatsoever we hit the checkbox and crashing will stop in its tracks it's quite impressive um, I play the game Ark all the time, and it continuously crashes. Now, I c only way I can prevent it from crashing without making that change in Afterburner is that I have to lower my resolution down to low on everything. Now I can play the game in Epic and do not have a problem whatsoever ever again. And it's the best solution and the only solution that fixes it 100% is that the game is just crashing pitifully. So I'm going to join my server. I have my own ARC server here locally for anybody to join, actually. It's public. And it runs 100% flawlessly. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to actually crank this back up again, MSI. But I'm going to show you how this works 100% and then it'll just crash. <clears throat> so uh, this is the ultimate fix. I'm very happy I found I just took a shot in the dark and said, why is this game continuously crashing? <coughs> why is this game continuously crashing? And it's bothering the bejesus out of me. So right now, we are negative 34 on the core. And I know I died. We spawn at the bed. I 100% cheat in this game. <laughs> so let's see. Where are we? All right. So this will never crash. Ever. It's insane. So I can't show you the... Actually, can I show you? So I just minimized... So you can see, all right, so the game is still running, all right, there it is. I don't have anything on, because I died, and uh, this game will run 100%. So I am running, let's see, let me show you, I'm running Epic. Everything is cranked to the fullest screen, highest resolution the monitor can do, 1440p, 2560 by 1440 I max everything out, and this game does not crash now at all. It's very exciting. I'm very happy about it because I can't believe I actually fixed it just by cranking down the frequency just a little bit, and it prevents it from crashing. So now we're going to go back, bring this back up to zero. Whoop, we don't want to go positive. We want to bring it down to zero. And the memory down to zero. No, we don't want that. I mean, if you want to overclock, you just a chance to overclock and find stable things. But hit OK on this. And now soon, this will crash. It always does. Every time, it'll say... You know, just, it'll just take a couple of minutes here because it always crashes. Matter of fact, when I put my map up, 
the crash is even worse or pretty much instantaneous. And it sucks because when you're in the middle of a game and you want to play, you want to do really well, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just takes a dive. And you get ticked off because... So let me go up here. Let me put the map on. And I almost guarantee you this bad boy is going to crash. It always does. <laughs> it always does. Just a matter of time. And if I jump off, I'll die. So I don't have my... Oh, there it is. Just crashed. There we go. In a matter of m minutes, <laughs> it takes a dive. And there it is. There's proof. All right. Now, if I left... It, and this is the error message I'm talking about. Directory... 3D thing crashes, but if you do what I say and you lower this down, it'll never ever crash. You you could play around with it and figure out which is your magic number for to lower it down. Sometimes you don't even have to change the clock. Okay, you don't have to change your memory clock. You just drop the core down and the problem goes away. Just try it. I guarantee it'll work. It's worked for me. Last night I was able to play Epic. 100% for like five hours straight. I was able to crank up the air, the fan speed a little bit here. And uh, I was happy with that. I was able to increase the, the temperature limit here slightly. And the issue didn't even have a problem, nothing. I was, able to I was very, very happy. So give that a try. Install MSI Afterburner. Lower the core clock down 30 megahertz. Do increments until it stops. You're not going to see, like I said, you're not going to see a problem at all in terms of, you're not going to see a decrease in performance at all because it's just 30 megahertz, but it's just trying to make it stable. So especially if you have an overclocked version of the card and it came overclocked, lower it down to stock and see if it fixes it or lower it down a few megahertz, 10, 15. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time.